What's up guys? So this is my recommendations for gaming headsets. Um, this by no means is a definitive um, thing. This is not a paid advertisement for any of these products. These are products that I bought with my money or uh, got in trade. Anyway, I own. Um, so this is not a paid advertisement or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to talk about earbuds first. Um, it is really hard for me to find good earbuds that both sound good enough for me and um, that fit in my ear and stay. Uh, it's very difficult um, for me. So um, what I have to do is basically get some, try them out. If they don't exactly fit, then I have to... Um, Go ahead and try something either similar or something totally different so what I um, tested out and I'm not a big brands guy um, if I can get something cheap uh, then I will and I have in the past but I've learned that with um, the amount of money that you spend you don't exactly get quality um, and that's like that uh, with a lot of things. Um, sorry about this. So anyway, uh, cheap headbone headphones versus expensive headphones. These sounded great. Um, lasted like a year. Um, these are dead in the water. I don't know why I keep them. I think deep down in my heart. I have sentimental value for these. These were fucking awesome. So if you want a good pair of headphones for like 20 bucks that don't break the bank, if you drop one and you roll over it with the pallet jack or something like that, it's not a big deal. These were like about 20 bucks, 15, 20 dollars on uh, Amazon. I'll see if I can find ones like this or similar to it, and I'll put a link in the description down below. Um, so if you want a super cheap pair, those are good. Um, everybody's ears are different. Everybody's, um, I don't know what you would call it, audio acuity is different. Some people like a lot of bass. Some people don't like a lot of bass. Um, those are on the cheap end, so they have a lot of bass. Um, it tries to cover up some other stuff, but, uh, they work. They work good. Um, as far as what I can remember, they were easy to use with a Nintendo Switch, uh, with my phone, um, my TV doesn't support Bluetooth audio, but, um, they worked with the other TV, um, so they, they worked good, so, but that is, uh, one option, but, um, I went with these, and of course these didn't fit my, they fit my ears, but they didn't stay in, um, so I went to ones that were a little bit better for me, these have the arms on them. And I found that they put some weird pressure. Um, but if I'm only using them for like an hour or so, then it's cool. Uh, and that's what these look like right here. It's got this nice little case. Um, on my other phone, when you hit the button to sync them, it automatically loaded the software, um, which was cool. And uh, these sound really good when you have one in. Um, so it's got three different levels of noise protection. Um, it's got what they call a transparency mode, which you have one in, or you have both of them in and have it on transparency. You can hear everything around you as, um, and everything going on in your earphones. Uh, or you can have no noise cancellation, which is normal. You just hear what's going in. And then you have the noise cancellation, and they work really good. Um, the other day I was at work... Um, on lunch and I was watching a video and a guy was sitting like four feet from me and was like yelling at me to get my attention and I couldn't hear him so he like banged on the table and it finally got my attention I was like I can't hear you but they are kind of costly um, these are on the high end these are what I would consider higher middle ground and then we've got the cheap ones if you are looking for a wired connection, these are an HP uh, gaming headset. 
and these have a built-in mic that you can take out so you just pull it out um, but this is really nice set uh, they usually go for 20 to 25 dollars um, I got these on sale for 20 and I've got reviews for these including a mic test and everything so you can hear what it sounds like um, these if you need a wired in-ear these are great um, you can also pick up other styles if you prefer more of an uh, ear, in-ear monitor that goes up around. Um, so that's just my suggestion for those. Uh, now, when I'm gaming for long periods and I need something um, as far as like a mic and stuff like that, like I'm playing with my buddy Noah, I will use this. And these are the nicest set of headphones that I've ever had. These are on the high end. Um, this is the Razer Black Shark Pro uh, V2s. I got these in a trade. So I traded a, uh old capture card that I had and uh, traded for this. So uh, Secondhand earphones are kind of weird and gross. Um, but these were in like perfect shape and it didn't look like he used them very much. And uh, so I just wiped them out good and... These sound super awesome. Um, it's got good bass response. Uh, it sounds really good. It's not over bassy. Uh, everything sounds really good on it. The mic is real clear. Um, now what's cool about those is you can use it with the dongle. Or you can use it with uh, the cable that they include, which is really nice. Uh, so I got it here. Now it does, um, it's not a Bluetooth headset, so you can't use it with like your phone, um, but with the dongle, you can use it with the, uh, the PlayStation. Um, I was using it with PS4, I don't know about PS5, probably have to use the dongle for PS5 as well. Um, the dongle also works on Nintendo Switch, or you can use it with the cable. You can also... Use the uh, the cable with a um, Xbox controller. Um, I like to be able to control my volume and stuff, so I have one of those little audio things. One of these, and you can pick these up on Amazon for like ten bucks, and they just clip on the bottom of the controller. On some versions of the controller, um, you've got to have one of these. Because some of them don't have a 3.5 millimeter jack. So we're talking Xbox One. Uh, the early controllers don't have it. So it just clips on just like this. Um, also the keyboards that you clip on will have that audio jack on the bottom. And it will have the volume um, things on it. So that is what I suggest for over the ear. There's also other options out there on Amazon. Um, I found some cheap ones that work really, really good, uh, but they don't last that long. And then you get it peeling like these. So you get the nasty peeling. Um, and then, you know, like that. And that's just from sweat and the heat from your body. And this stuff is just cheap, and that's what happens. But now they have uh, these wrap things that you can get that goes over here. And they've got these little, basically it's like a little sock thing that goes over them. They cost a little bit of money, but if you have a nice pair of headphones like this that still works perfectly good, but it looks like trash, um, you can get those on Amazon. And uh, I'll, leave a, uh, I'll leave a link for something like that. In the description down below with that too but that is all of my suggestions for uh, for headphones that I have used um, the over the ears are awesome uh, if you have a lot of hair or whatever I don't have that problem I don't even have any beard hair anymore I shaved that shit off yesterday but uh it'll leave a dent in the top of your head but some people like that some people don't some people don't like things in their ear or, uh, you know, it puts weird pressure or whatever in the ear. So, you want to stay away from these.
But uh, if you don't mind something in the ear, these are awesome to play with. You can wear these for hours. Um, and they've got the little arm on it to hold it. And they sound great. Like I said, they're like 20, 25 bucks. Uh, it's perfect. You can use it with PS3, PS4, or uh, not PS3, PS4, PS5, um, whatever has a, a jack on it. Use it for your phone, whatever. Uh, if you play mobile games, it's perfect. But um, other than that, guys, that's all I got. Let me know what you guys use, what your favorite um, earphones are. And if you actually care about that kind of stuff, um, some people are happy with dollar store earbuds that get trashed like the first time you use them. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but let me know what you guys are using down below, what you're playing it on. And uh, if you pick some of these up, let me know. And um, let me know how you like them. And we'll see you guys next time.